Hey guys! I'm going to show you how I pack my acrylic paintings into a tube to ship safely overseas. I'm actually packing three paintings into one tube as this was a custom order of three Blue Jay paintings, but you can follow the same advice whether you're packing one or multiple paintings. So I've laid out two sheets of acid-free paper underneath the painting to protect it from the wooden surface underneath, and then I have laid the painting face down onto the paper. It's important to use acid-free paper to make sure that it won't damage the painting. I usually use glassine paper. To remove the staples, I'm using a small flat screwdriver and I'm gently tapping it with a hammer to get it underneath the staple. This is probably not the best way to do it, but the staples on this canvas are really stubborn and it's the only way I've managed to get them out. Once I've loosened the staple, I use my staple remover to lift it and pull it out. Just repeat the same process with all of the staples around the canvas and be extra careful not to damage the painting and take your time while doing this. Removing the staples is quite time consuming, but it is the best way to make sure that your customer has as much canvas as possible to restretch it once it arrives. This was important for my customer as they want the canvases to be a specific size. If this isn't important for your customer, then you could save time by cutting the canvas just outside of the staples. The reason I ship some of my paintings in a tube is because it's much safer, particularly for the large paintings. They're less likely to get damaged, so when they're going on long journeys it's a great option. The shipping cost is usually much more reasonable as well because the size and the weight of the package is a lot less. So I'm just going around the canvas removing all of the staples one by one. I'll show you a close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just gently tapping the screwdriver to get it underneath the staple and then using it to loosen it slightly. Then I just push my staple remover underneath and use it to grip onto the staple and remove it from the canvas. Okay, so once you've removed all of the staples we can move on to the next step. Carefully unfold the corners of the canvas so that we can lift it away from the wooden frame. The corners might be glued so be careful not to rip them. Sometimes the paint can stick them together too so just slowly pull them apart to make sure that you don't damage the painting. Once you have unfolded all of the corners simply lift the wooden frame away from the painting and place it to one side. So as you can see the painting is now flexible and we will be able to roll it up. So here I'm just flattening the edges as much as I can to make it easier to roll. The canvas has been stretched for a long time so the edges won't flatten completely but pressing them down like this will help a bit. So I'm just swapping the crinkled sheet of glassine paper to a nice new one as this will be in the package with the painting and I don't want to send a crinkled piece of paper to my customer. If you are shipping one painting then you can stop here, but if you are shipping multiple paintings then just lay another sheet of acid free paper on top of the canvas and place your painting face down on top of this. The reason we place them face down is because we want the painting to be rolled outwards. If you roll the painting inwards then the paint is more likely to crack and then when you unroll it the cracks will open. However when you roll it with the painting facing outwards the paint is less likely to crack as acrylic paint is flexible and if there are any small cracks they won't be visible once the painting is unrolled as they will fold into themselves. Okay, so now we're just going to gently roll the paintings with the paper. Make sure you roll it loosely as you don't want to create any folds in the painting and press down the sides as you go so that they aren't folded when you roll it. Fix the paper in place using painter's tape. I always fold a tab onto the tape to make it easier for my customer to remove it when they open the package. Now we just need to add the bubble wrap. Make sure the bubbles are facing away from the painting so that they don't cause any dents to the canvas, then just simply roll it around the paintings. I use large bubble wrap as I find the padding is much better and I don't have to use as much of it. Then just fix it in place with tape. Then slide the painting into your tube. It should be a snug fit. If, if there is too much space inside, just add another layer of bubble wrap to prevent the movement during the shipping process. 
I'm also including a handwritten note and a certificate of authenticity. My certificates are quite small so they do fit inside the tube, but if yours are larger you might have to send them separately. Then just fix the lids in place using tape and address shipping labels. I hope this helps, remember to subscribe for more videos like this.